Alright, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Nier. In the last episode, we finished up with the side quest of Palooza, and we did the first 51% of the side quests in the game. Why 51? You'll find out later. Anyway, in this episode, now we're actually going to continue on with the plot. Something, uh, <laughs> we haven't got around to in a while. We got a lot of backstory, though, and I feel as though that's equally important. I don't know why I'm bothering these guys. I don't know, once you start, like, one-shotting or two-shotting them, you're not probably not getting enough experience for them to be worth it. I feel like a little twilight effect. And just the weather. Boy, let me tell you, that red X was staring at me the entire time I was doing these side quests, and it's gonna feel so good to actually be able to... Go do it. Hi, Bor. I'd stay and play with you, but you're... <laughs> boring. <clears throat> it took me a long time to come up with that pun. Sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way. I'm sure of it. That's what I love about you, Vice. You're such an optimist. Such cheek. There's more tongue, I suppose, but you know. You have a nice beard and glasses. Oh boy, here comes the trip. Oh no. The death dream, huh? So a sleeping sickness. Oh boy, 72 font. So this whole thing could really take down the world if enough people came to uh, visit. Boy, if it was that easy to figure out. Now, are you actually studying, or are you just dreaming about studying it? Because I know when you want to do something in a dream, or at least for me, it seems to, like, slip out of your grasp, you know?
Aha! This is sort of like in Naruto with Itachi's uh, Mangekyo Sharingan, where it only seems like it's taking forever. How would a likeless turtle navigate its environment better? It would just be a head in a shell. I'm sure I'm not going too fast for you guys. I'm sorry if I am. Is this what the fox says? One with its suffers, two with it is ideal, three with it is dangerous. Let me tell you, if this is a riddle, I don't remember the answer, but I'm going to say misery, because, you know, misery loves company. Or, you know, a secret, you know. I like this method of storytelling, though it would have been great to see it. Imagine it is just as beautiful, too. Especially with the music. That's easy, it's moonlight. Or sunlight. When night falls, I, I don't know. Boy, who just knocks for a minute straight? My hands would get hurt. Of course, anyone who has gone through English class in high school would know this. Though I suppose I didn't read Oedipus till college, actually. So are you a sphinx? That's something, I guess.
I can see clearly now the dream is gone. It's kind of sad if you think about it. Oh, hey. And we're back. We get Dark Execution. It's not all that great. If I'm not mistaken, we can talk with the rest of the villagers too and help them through their death dreams. Feeling surf. Oh dear. That's a lot of rain. Now, it's possible to screw up pretty badly here and, you know, drown to death, but I do believe this is the right path. I gave up the first time I played it and I'm looking at a guide right now, which is why I've been so quiet.
All right, well. That guide was useless. Uh, well... God, do I even want to bother? It's not a quest. Fortunately, we can skip it, mostly. I just gotta mash the buttons. Basically proceed in north and east as much as you possibly can. And north. Oh, hey, there we go. Sounds like you're good, and you don't really not really have to talk, and I feel it. Could you really call this a village with two villagers? Well, let's hope it's no maze this time. Because I've never tried this one, I gave up. Oh boy. <laughs> Wonder if Vice can smile. It's like those things when you're driving on the road during a hot day and it, uh, looks like there's water. I have no idea why our body does that. City is just a mirage. Well, 
They sound like street lights almost. Or maybe exactly. Did we end up in Las Vegas? figure. I didn't, trust me, I didn't come up with that. I have a guide right in front of me. <laughs> Though I probably could have with enough time, but time constraints for the sake of keeping you all engaged. Really like the music, though. Hello there, Mr. Mayor. Hello. We get the one-handed sword of faith. Now, if you don't come to get or wake all those guys up, you can still get faith. Just much later. Oh, wow! That's way better than the lily leaf sword. Oh, and it's beautiful, too. Look at that thing. Alright, well, we still got time. Let's just head on back to the village. There isn't much to return to here. And there's no side quest here for now. Hey there, Kainek. Well, it seems the worst if it's over. Alright, sheep, out of my way. By the by, I found out, completely by accident while getting all the wool and mutton for the uh, side quests, if you kill 100 sheep, you get a bronze trophy. So, yeah, nothing for goats, though. So if your uh, hunt for goat hides takes a while, there's no reward for it. There's a lot of trophies that I never thought I would really know about. Especially, like, the Sheep Whisperer, or one where you, if you ride on a boar for five minutes... I was sitting there just looking at stuff, and apparently it took me five minutes, and you get a trophy by being on a, the boar for five minutes. You don't have to be riding it, it doesn't have to be moving. As long as you're on the boar for five minutes, you get a bronze trophy. Or achievement, depending on the system you're playing on. I'm really not going to judge anyone for playing on the Xbox, because console wars are stupid. I chose the PS3 because it had more games I wanted. And a better controller that I liked more. Is that it? Say. Alright. Oh, never mind. Alright, time to stop abandoning on our daughter to go on wild adventures.
Well, Yona, I'd tell you, but I don't have seven dollars to spend right now to find out. And I think this does... These items only do come back after certain story events, because I had to reload a few times in the side quest thing, and they didn't reappear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Vicey! The entire town's calling him Vicey. Ah, well, young love, am I right? <laughs> See, this is what I like in games. Like, you don't get this from playing w as a bunch of, you know, spiky-haired, big-eyed anime kids saving the world. The father-daughter paradigm is something that, like, more just older dudes and women and whatnot. Father-daughter, mother-son, that sort of paradigm I'd love to see in more video games. Just not, not necessarily, like, shooters or whatnot. I'm going the completely wrong way. Boy, I should have, uh, been focusing. And I, I'm sure it elicited the same, uh, re but I was about to say erection, wow. Reaction. With brother near instead of father near, saying, No, I'm not letting my sister have a boyfriend. I can't really say either one relates to me because I'm not a daughter, so my father wouldn't have had the same reaction, and I'm an only child, so I wouldn't have the same reaction to my sister, so it doesn't really appeal to me, but for some reason, the father-daughter uh, father paradigm is just... it interests me more. Simply because a lot of RPGs don't do it. I can think of plenty of old men, and I can think of father-daughter paradigms, too, like, uh, Tella and Anna in Final Fantasy IV. Uh, there's that giant shade again. I'm not gonna bother. You know, I'm too far away from leveling. How can these beasts let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? It is hardly what one would call a specially fertile ground. I'm getting a lot of tutorials. That felt good. combo. At any rate, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We'll save Yona's boyfriend for next time. See you guys then.